a few weeks ago, you know, um, I had a dream about uh, my wife where I saw somebody who she really respected, somebody she followed over the years. The mantle of that person, uh, the, the person's outfit was being given to me to give to her. Hello and welcome to 21 Days of Prophetic Advantage. I want to encourage you to please like, share and subscribe. Hello again and welcome once again to 21 Days of Prophetic Advantage. Uh, we're riding up strong and we've come up to day 9. And today I want to speak about... Uh, the season of divine promotion or prophetic promotion, you know, and in this in these times, especially as we are fasting and praying, you know, um, these are the kind of times that we become more sensitive to the spirit of God. And I, like I said, with prayer, prayer is not a, a monologue. So we are fasting, we are praying. We should expect God to speak back to us. And you know, um, at some time, I think I spoke about. The fact that there are different categories of dreams and there are directional dreams, warning dreams, correction dreams, deliverance dreams. But there's something called promotion dreams. And when you're talking about and or impartation dreams. And we should watch out for these things. We should watch out for deliverance, you know, because if God, if we are praying to God and, you know, God wants us to grow and advance and have like extraordinary results, clearly we will have deliverances. So just be sensitive to the various kind of experiences we're having in terms of dreams and none of that but i want to speak particularly about you know um uh, you know a, an impartation dream or what i would call in this particular case a a dream of prophetic promotion this is when you know the spirit of god in a sense shows up in in your dream to you know kind of like impart a gift to you or move you to your next level let me explain what i mean so, for example, um, uh, you, you can have an instance where, you know, like with Solomon, if you remember Solomon in 1 Kings 3, after he had killed a thousand bulls, you remember? Uh, in worship to God. And then the Lord now showed up in his dream. And he asked Solomon, what did he want? And Solomon said, you know, um, and then the Lord said, whatever you, whatever you want, you know, I will give it to you. And Solomon asked for wisdom to govern the state, to rule God's people. And God said he will give him more than that. He will give him wealth. He will give him riches and all of that. I want you to remember, remember that that was a dream. But God showed up to him in a dream. And then from that dream, you know, um, he, he essentially received the impartation. But then he then, in, the, in, in physical experience, began to walk in wisdom and in riches. So um, I call that, you know, a, a prophetic promotion. Or, like I said earlier, on impartation. I've had those experiences where I've been praying, praying, praying. It didn't seem like I see, saw any result. And I had a dream. Usually, um, how, you know, how do I know that God showed up in my dream or it was from God? Many times when God wants to depict himself, because we've never seen him before, you know, he will usually send somebody, uh, you know, he will use the image of a pastor, either your pastor, or a highly placed pastor who you respect a lot, okay? And, you know, or or sometimes your, if your father, because God is our father. And, in you know, or it might be um, the pastor or the the person who operates in that thing that you're looking for. So I'll give you an example. When when I was really praying to God, you know, for the prophetic gift to move me to the next level, blah, 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 you know, um, God sent a prophet who I really respect, as in, he used the image of that person, and that person gave me 250 pounds, as it were, you know, uh, a check for 250 pounds, or something to that effect, and um, it was, the, the check was blank, so I, I had to fill it in, sort of, and, you know, when I, when I shared the dream with the gentleman, he said, you know what, <laughs> you know, that is, the, you know, a prophetic angel, you know, because think about it, you know, I don't know what a prophetic angel looks like. So, he, he, he comes in the form of a prophet that I know, giving me a blank, a check 
it was like 200, 2, 250 pounds or something to that effect. Then I remembered, I've shared this before, but I remember that 250 pounds was what I used in starting um, um, the church at the time, you know, in 1996. And the church had now grown to, you know, the turnover was like 1.7 million uh, pounds, you know. And what was God was trying to say to me is that, you know, um, he, had, he was giving me the seed of the prophetic. And as I cultivated and nurtured it, it was going to grow as it were. You know, um, so that it, it, it's, it, it's already been given to me in a little form. Um, and that was why that angel showed up. And then a few, a few weeks ago, you know, um, I had a dream about uh, my wife where I saw somebody who she really respected, somebody she followed over the years. A mantle of that person, uh, the, the person's outfit was being given to me to give to her. You know, and I told her, I said, look, I believe strongly that you know, that person's mantle is coming on her. And you know what? As she began to pray, you know, in the last few weeks, I've, be I've, I've began to see, as it were, um, impact, results, you know, showing that there has been a shift in her ministry, her mantle, as in, in terms of prayer and uh, her, her operations, it has changed. You know, this is the reality of, you know, the, the, the principle of prophetic promotion and you know i want you at this season to to just continue to look out and see you know don't don't formulate anything but i'm trying to help you understand that god speaks and how he speaks so that you are sensitive to know that many of the things that you ask for in prayer he's answered them so I, I want to encourage you even right now you know to begin to speak to the lord and say say to him begin to ask him that lord you know um, speak to me, Lord. Let me have true, real encounters with you. Let me have, let me not just hear about other people's stories. Let me, let, let me, let me have my own experiences where you know I pray and you answer or you re reveal yourself in, to me in a dream or through the word or through you know a teaching or something or the other. But Lord, speak to me. Begin to desire, uh, uh, um, you know, that God will release. Uh, the impartation of prophetic uh, uh, promotion over you or where you will have prophetic deliverances in your dreams or deliverance, you know, encounters of, of uh, whatever form of format where God speaks to you in your dreams. Begin to pray. Now, you know, step into the place of prayer and begin to ask God specifically in the, prayer, in the place of prayer for these things to manifest in your life. And, and if you enjoy this, please remember to share with your friends, subscribe, like, make your comments so that as many people as possible can, can get to enjoy and walk in the season of prophetic advantage.